Greetings. This is Greg Bem, one of the Spokane Community College librarians. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access and use DOAJ, which stands for Directory of Open Access Journals. From the SCC Library homepage, click on A to Z databases, and you will be taken to this screen. From here, click on D in the list of all of the letters to filter the databases by the letter D. Scroll down to DOAJ and click on the title. This will open the DOAJ in a new tab. The top bar has the icon and name of the database. If you go to the right, you will notice there are several other menus and a search feature. Underneath the top bar, there is a search menu where you can search journals and articles, the same functionality as below on the main screen. There's documentation about how the database works. There's a lot of information about the database and the team behind it. And then there is a way to log in if you happen to work for the DOAJ. You can, of course, use the main search bar to find information within the DOAJ. You can search by journals or articles from the get-go, and you can use the search bar and search in a variety of places within the articles. As you can see, there's a lot of different information within the DOAJ. It represents 80 languages, 134 countries, and a variety of other metrics as listed here. Scrolling down, you'll notice even more information about the DOAJ and information about how it's getting funded. News, volunteers, recently added journals. This is more information that follows on the page below the search bar. Let's search for poetry as our example search in this video. When I click search, it's going to show me a variety of different journals that show up for poetry. This interface is the same for both articles and journals. In the middle of the screen, we will see our results. And note that because this is an international database, you will see a variety of languages represented in the results themselves. Also note that some of the results might have metadata in English but the journals, when you actually get to them, are going to have non-English content. Keep that in mind. The results show up in the middle. On the left, we have filters. In this case, we can see journals without fees and so on. We can filter by subject. We can filter by languages, licenses the publishers of these journals, and so on. Let's go back and look at what shows up for poetry when we search for articles. In this case, we have 15,000 plus indexed articles in the DOAJ for poetry. And as I scroll down, we'll also see similar information in the search results. And the list goes on. Let's click on this article, AI the Creator, Analyzing Prose and Poetry Created by Artificial Intelligence. When we're in this record page, we will see a variety of information about the article, including the author, journal information, information, more information about the journal on the right-hand side, and then an abstract about this work and tags that describe it. If I click read online, I will be taken to the website for this article. Note that sometimes these links do not work and you may need to Google the article title or do some digging due to broken links. Clicking on that link takes me to the full PDF for this article, which I can then read in my PDF viewer, in this case, my web browser. That sums up an overview of the Directory of Open Access Journals. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you have any questions, please reach out to the Spokane Community College librarians. Take care.